there's going to be fear. There's going to be things you're afraid of. And I'm just going to make this one really simple. Turn your fear into dua. Turn your anxieties into dua. Meaning, I'm scared of something. I'm terrified that XYZ is going to happen. Everyone has fears, right? Now, how do we typically deal with fear? What we typically do with fear is we feed it. How do we feed fear? By just thinking about it. And then all these scenarios come, right? I'm afraid of um, something happening to someone I love. So what I do is I think of all the different possible ways that something could happen to someone I love. I think of this scenario and that scenario. All I've done is I'm feeding the fear. I haven't actually solved anything. Instead of feeding fear, turn it into dua. That thing that you're afraid of, make dua about it. Simple as that. Immediately stop it, stop the thought, and then stop the thought, and then turn and focus that feeling of fear and anxiety into making dua. Ask Allah for protection. And then after you've done that, Put your trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I've given it to Allah. And don't keep feeding that fear. Make sense? Okay, number three. Take your pain, so the things that happen in your life that hurt you, things that happen that disappoint you, and turn it into growth. So use those things that happen, take the lessons from them, and grow. And continue to become a better person. And let it make you more compassionate. See, the thing is about, if you look at all the prophets, peace be upon them all, they all went through challenges in life. And you know one of the things that these challenges do for people is it, it, it increases their empathy. It increases their compassion for others. That when you've been through something tough, you feel for others. Yeah, you feel more mercy and compassion for others. Let it make you a better person. Don't let it harden you. Let it soften you. That when you go through difficulty, let your pain soften you, not harden you. And one thing I want to remind you of is this. There's a hadith in which the Prophet ﷺ says, المؤمن, The matter of a believer is strange. Amruhu kullu khair, that all of his or her matters are good. If there's something that you want, is you, you're grateful, it's good for you. Something you don't want, something that hurts you, you're patient, is good for you. And this is only the case for a believer. Do you know what this hadith means? It means that no matter what happens to you in your life, as long as you respond with either gratitude or patience, is good for you. So you never lose. You actually never lose as long as you have faith and as long as you, re you respond in the right way. So take your pain and turn it into growth and compassion and, and let, it, let, it, let it make you a better person. One other thing is be mindful about this focus on your painful past on your painful past. <coughs> um, as they say, the past is a place of reference, not a place of residence. A place of reference. You look back at your past to learn from it, but you do not become consumed by your past, okay? You learn from it, but you don't become consumed. And then finally, my last piece of advice, number four, is protect yourself have a shield of protection. And that shield of protection is through your dhikr, through your remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I told you that dhikr is food. Dhikr is food for the soul. It's also protection. When you look at the, um, the, the collection of dua, what is it called? Fortress of a Muslim. It's called hisn al-Muslim. It's a collection of duas that protect you. It's a, it's a fortress. So, um, three things in the dhikr that I'm going to say. Number one is the salah. The salah has to be something that you don't compromise on. It's breathing oxygen, right? Number two is the adhkar. The adhkar is something you can download apps onto your phone for dua. Um, my dua is one example of a really great app. And what you can do is, after every morning fajr prayer, open your app and read the morning supplications. Then after us, open your app and read the evening supplications. And before you sleep, read the sleep, the ones for sleep. Okay? These du'as will 
absolutely revolutionize your state, revolutionize how you react to the world, how you live. It becomes a protection for you. Uh, as I mentioned, there's waswasa all the time from shaitan and from the nafs. This becomes a shield. These adhkar. And, um, and then the last part is Qur'an. Make sure you have a consistent relationship with the Qur'an. And this will be um, you know, part of the shield that protects you. Now, all these four things, I'm just going to recap. Be careful what you focus on and what you focus on grows. Um, make sure, and, and what you focus on is affected by what you ingest, okay? by what you entertain, by your thoughts, and which kinds of thoughts you, you allow in, feed, you know, entertain. Number two, turn your fear into dua. Number three, turn your pain into growth. And number four, protect yourself through the dhikr, the adhkar, the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 